Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. This is a video that I've wanted to make for quite a while. Uh, I haven't sat down and like done it properly, but I really wanted to do it around the time of the lawsuit a few years ago now. But there's a lot of themes, and I may have actually spoken about it before, but there's a lot of themes in Mars Argo's songs that could be interpreted as calls for help or things like that. This video could go on forever, but I just want to make a short one about a few songs. At least one. I don't know how this video is going to go exactly. I have one, definitely. I want to start with Be Easy, because to me, Be Easy is it's a story. This was recorded between 2011 and 2012, apparently, according to the Argopedia. It was likely intended for their cancelled second studio album. It was leaked in 2017. The issues from my memory, they weren't overly prominent until the move to LA, I think. I think Chicago was generally fine, I think, but I think this was recorded then, so I don't know. And of course, every song is up for interpretation. Just because there's lyrics in here that could be interpreted as something doesn't mean that they are the beauty of music. And I think a lot of Mars Argo music does that. If we look at the lyrics for Be Easy, it starts with Once upon a time there was a man who whispered in my ear, I make magic all the time, there's nothing you should fear. He locked me in a hospital and filled me full of chemicals. He kept me in his castle just so no one he could hear me singing Be Easy. Now to me, once upon a time there was a man who whispered in my ear, I make magic all the time, there's nothing you should fear. To me this could be about Titanic Sinclair and the dream of success and him having some form of success or online presence with Digital Fun Town before they met. This could be like, I have what it takes to make you a star and he locked me in a hospital and filled me full of chemicals. Hospital could be like in a house. Mars stated in interviews that she would often stay at home a lot, although it wasn't due to Sinclair here, I don't think. Although she did state that he would belittle her a lot. I don't know if that was happening during this stage. Filming full of chemicals could just be her drinking or maybe any drug use if that happened or the medication or something like that how that could be interpreted or that's how i interpret it at least he kept me in his castle just so no one could hear me singing be easy castle and hospital castle could be house as well so no one could hear me singing be easy i don't know if be easy is like a call for help but it could very well be that she felt trapped and that she didn't feel like she could ask for help what's interesting to note is that you may be like, well, Titanic Sinclair wrote this and produced this. Well, that is true, except it's not exactly valid because there's poppy songs that she wrote with him that are about him that are of a similar try to get away kind of theme. The second verse goes, what was so impossible about giving me a chance? Forgive me for believing in a promise and a plan. I put my trust in you, boy. I really thought you'd follow through. What was so impossible about giving me a chance? I don't 100% know what that could relate to. Uh, forgive me for believing in a promise and a plan. Could also refer back to I make magic all the time. There's nothing you should fear. A promise and a plan being like I'll make you famous through this. And she trusted him and she thought that he was believable. It is important to note that there definitely was a level of fame that they had, that they achieved. It wasn't like they thought they'd get somewhere and they didn't. I mean, there was the whole Johnny K thing and that potential album that fell through. Generally, I would say that they were successful. Tearing my hair out, I'm so stressed out. There was, I think, a theory at one stage that maybe she was wearing hats because she was tearing her hair out. So it could be literal. For example, she has a hat on here. There's a hat here. She has a cap here, a cap here, cap here, cap here, cap here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And I don't know if that's a beanie, but yeah. Anyway, that's just a theory, a Mars Argo theory. I just thought that I would mention that because I thought that was somewhat relevant. And that's basically all there is about Be Easy. Now, 
there's a few others like everything turns to gold was part of internet sessions and it is honestly like my favorite one of my favorite Mars Argo songs someone asked in the comments I think day or two ago when I'm recording this what my favorite Mars Argo songs were so I pose that question to you what are your favorite Mars Argo songs because everything turns to gold is definitely one of mine and I prefer the acoustic version I don't think that a studio version would do as well because this seems more raw and direct I suppose apparently there is a studio version according to the trivia this and electric car are the duo's only two songs that were only ever released in acoustic form despite studio version having been recorded in Titan Sinclair's Texas Dream live from Route 66 film which was released to YouTube in 2021 he describes his song Little Blue Pill as a sequel to Everything Turns to Gold this is apparently about being drugged and taken advantage of I don't think that this is exactly relevant to the topic at hand i don't think that this would be in relation to sinclair at least i definitely hope not as you know there's a lot of different marzago songs and a lot of them could be interpreted in multiple ways runaway runaway is definitely i think about her wanting to escape Save Me is another instance as well, although this hasn't fully leaked, I don't know if it actually exists. Sinclair said that it's the best thing he's ever made. The lyrics are, save me, I want safety because I've never felt this way before. Getting closer to saying goodbye, to saying I try, to saying last time is the last time that I know it will be. About her wanting safety, obviously. Thanks for watching this video. I know it wasn't structured as well as some of the others have been, but Hopefully you found it somewhat interesting. There's probably some songs that you've heard and you've wondered, oh, I wonder if that's about Titanic Sinclair or what was going on or who wrote the song and what they're trying to say because there's a chance that some of it is actually Sinclair's writing coming through about his experiences as well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, leave a like. Let me know your favourite Mars Argo song in the comments below and I shall see you tomorrow for a Titanic Sinclair video. And then we have one more video after that, I believe. Yeah, then we have one more video after that. And it's one I've been putting off. Probably going to be the longest of the, of the month. Just, just know that. Peace. It's a very different sound to what I'm used to from Titanic. I guess it's not just him. Also, this quality uh, is not me. I download these in like 720p. I guess they're trying to be retro and 80s or whatever.